What's up guys, Corvus95 here, and welcome to episode 139 of my Pokemon Showdown Random Battle series. So on the last episode, we managed to get three wins once again, and let's hopefully do something similar today. So we'll start out facing a Registeel with the Pyro, so we definitely looked out there. Let's go for... I would love to go for a Fire Blast, but I think a Will-O-Wisp's a smarter play. Let's go for that. Because if he switches something in, then a will wisp will be more beneficial than the like. Because they're likely to switch in a fire resist. But unless they switch in like a fire type or some. Yeah, there's only really fire types that have immunity to fire. So I think will o wisp is the better play. Please don't be a person who just. Stalls. Please don't. Okay, so a bit of a slow start, but we don't mind. Let's just hope they hurry up a bit. I don't know why you would stall out unrated random mouths because you don't get anything from winning. Okay, there's the switch in the Kyogre. We'll get the will wisp off, get the burn. They aren't primal Kyogre. And I have a Kyogre of my own. Which I think is what the, they were going for. I do have a primal Kyogre. Um, and the rest of my team's basically weak to Kyogre. Let's go for the Hitmontop. Mainly because that. I didn't want my Ola Kyogre to have to take that. Well, let's go for a Sucker Punch. Or do I reckon that was too much damage? Uh, actually, I take... Um, not Recoil, the Ola thing. Okay, so you have 225 speed. Do I have anything that speeds that? Or oh, you have 225 max. You probably have about 174, so Landris should outspeed you. Am I risking that? Yes, I am. And let's go for the EQ. Yeah, I should outspeed. EQ will kill from that range. Why do I put my opponent in tough situations? They take forever to make a move when I do that. Let's go for the EQ, almost kill, almost take them down to half. That's what I meant to say there. Well, let's go for the Stone Edge now. Oh, didn't realize he outsped. Wouldn't have done that if I realized he outsped. He outspeeds everything, doesn't he? Pretty much. Um, let's go Gigala. We've got an air balloon. We can go for... The switch is pretty obvious, so let's go for Stealth Rocks. And let's hope I don't regret that. Rock Blast would take him out, though. Let's go Rock Blast. No, Stealth Rocks. He's switching out. I would feel stupid if he, he didn't switch out, but he didn't do enough. So get rocks up. Now we can go for the rock blast. There's the second ice beam, and he gets a crit freeze, and I thaw instantly. That's nice. One more. Yes. Well done, Giggle it. The crit freeze insta thaw. Crit. What are the chances of that going on? Um, let's go for the superpower. Iron head, fair enough. Let's go for the pyro. And this time out we will go for the fire blast. He has whittled my team down quite fast. 
But I think it's due to how many weaknesses to water I had. I was forced to make some weird switches. Doesn't actually kill. T-Wave? Iron Head. Really? Fair enough. Um, let's go for the Dark Pulse now. We have Life Orb. Kyogre could switch in, I could see that happening, but it'll go down. Because it's on, what, 30%? 37%? Amoongus comes in. That was an interesting play, considering I had just gone for a Fire Blast. Let's go for a Fire Blast then. Take out the Amoongus. And I do outspeed the Kyogre. I think. Don't I? What's my actual speed? 218. Yeah, that outspeeds Kyogre. Okay, so a course map. Really don't have much for course map. Hmm. Let's just go for the Dark Pulse, see how much it does. The 2 with KO. Actually, it's not. But the flinch helps. So it did 38%. So I do need to switch out on that. Let's go out into T-Tar. I probably shouldn't be saving Pyro to take out a 24% Reggie Steel. There's no point. Just go Dark Pulse. Kyogre can take out our Reggie Steel pretty handily. Now, Kyogre doesn't gain any speed when it Primal de-evolves, de does it? Or Primal reverts. Go for the Toxic. So it did predict the switch there. Let's go for another Dark Pulse. Take out the Corsola. We will not go down this turn, but will next turn. Guaranteed. And they forfeit, so we win that battle. We didn't even get to use Kyogre, so we've got one win so far today. But that battle took longer than it should have, but that's okay. Um, let's go for the Ice Punch, I think. We could, we could probably bring a Groudon. So to a kill, we now have speed as well. So let's go off another ice punch. There's the Empoleon. And we get a freeze. I'm not that happy with that, actually. Um, do we have any setup though? I'm not happy with it, but I will take advantage of it. So that's a two hit kill, he stays frozen. It's a bit unlucky for my opponent there. I did get frozen in the last spell, but I did get insta thawed, and we pick up a victory. So two victories today. A bit unfortunate there. My opponent obviously didn't think they had anything else to really take on Mega Megagross. Although, I wouldn't count Empoleon really as a Meg Mega Metagross switching, or... Well, switching, yeah. Counter, no. Go sleep powder. And my, that's not going to count. Because that didn't even last a turn. Let's see what we'll get in ball number three. If the game, if. Pokemon Showdown wants to find me. I love how Pokemon Showdown is still technically in beta. It's been in beta for like four years or something. Um, well that's not a Pokemon I want to stay in on, is it? Um... How much of a betting is actually going for a... Well, let's go Groudon. I was ge guessing... Ooh, Giga Drain. That was an interesting play there. Let's go Lava Plume. Because he has Levitate, so I can't go Earthquake. So let's go for our, our last staff. Plus it gets boosted by the sun. So it's basically double staff. Burn really helps. 
means I take 3% from that. I'm guessing... What could he be? Probably... He's not lefties. Right, a crocodile. Is he going knockoff? Or is he going straight up earthquake? He's going earthquake. He went stealth rocks. Fair enough. Let's go hidden power ice. Now I don't know if he'll predict the HP ice or not. I could see him going knockoff there. The Giratina, that's okay. Each face does 29%, not the greatest. And what's he gonna go for? Paral paralysis, he can't, he can't. He could go Dragon Tail. I could see that. Let's go for a null HP ice. Taking down a half health. There's the Dragon Tail. And here's our Moldo. Time to go for a knockoff. I don't have knockoff. This is like the only Armaldo in the world without knockoff. Let's go Stone Edge then. Ho ho ho, I am so glad I missed that Willow. I avoided that Willow at least. Let's go Groudon. There's the Dragon Tail. Okay, that's not great. Kabutops, I'm happy with that. We can go for a Stone Edge. Take out the Garatina. I'm guessing Electros comes in. That was a really good play on behalf of him. Getting up those Stealth Rocks was kind of crucial. Do we have Life Orb? Yes, we do. That kind of sucks. Kabutops can do some damage to my opponent's team here, though. Because it'll take out the crocodile, and I don't know what else he's got. Hmm. Well, you could. Well, you can't swagger. You could paralyze. You could set up a reflect. Also a good player. That does a crazy amount of damage for being reflected. Well, you don't outspeed me, so that's Sword Stance. Oh, Toxic, please don't kill. Thank you. Thank you so much for not killing. Because this will kill now. This will be a double down. Fair enough. I'm okay with that. I've got another five turns of Reflect. Which really sucks. But I can deal with it. Let's go Rotom. It sucks that Stealth Rocks hurt um, Levitating Pokemon. I should have went Pain Split. It didn't matter because he outsped, which means he's Life Orb? What? I was going to say, which means he's Choice Scarf, but he's apparently not. There's no way you kill me in one hit. So it's go Icicle Crash. Okay, you have Super Power. There is a way you can kill us in one hit. Oh, I didn't even know Crocodile learned Super Power. Well, you have speed everything. Apologies for that. Just getting an email. Okay, let's go for the X scissor. How is knockoff killing? How is knockoff doing 63%? That's a ridiculous amount of damage. I should have gone Cricket Tune first. Yeah, so we're gonna get sweeped here and go down 2 1 overall today. That's okay though. We went positive at least. Let's go for the Lava Plume as we go down on the knockoff. Good game to my opponent. 
And that's going to be the end of today's battles, guys. That takes us to 223 victories. I mean, 222 victories, sorry, and 195 defeats. We've got that 27 game differential. No, 22 game differential. What am I saying? Isn't it? No. 27 game differential. I'm losing my mind. Anyway, that's going to be where we wrap this episode up. Guys, if you've enjoyed, make sure to drop a like on the video. Hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all of my new videos. And from me, Corvus95, thank you guys so much for watching, and goodbye.